Hey guys, welcome to the video number five of the Sapier video training series. In this video, we are going to review what a webhook is and we are going to create a SAP using a webhook. So let's first review what a webhook is. So a webhook is a notification mechanism between uh, applications by executing an HTTP request. So the application that is notified, in this case, Sapier, provides an HTTP endpoint to be called by the application that sends that notification. That in this case, we are going to use Postman to simulate uh, that uh, application that is sending the notification. Okay, so what we're going to do now is um, we are going to create a new SAP using a webhook. So let's make a SAP. Now I'm going to look for webhooks. Uh, here I am going to select catch hook. Um, using catch hook, we can set uh, the Sapier URL that is going to be called by the external application. So I'm going to press on save and continue. And I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to send a request to the URL just to check that uh, this uh, URL or this webhook is working as we expect. So let me paste it here. And what I'm going to send here is a um, post HTTP request using this simple data structure. I'm going to send a person with two uh, attributes, a first name and a last name. So I'm going to click on send. And now that I received a confirmation from the Sapier's webhook. I'm going to I'm going back to the uh, Sapier dashboard here, and I'm going to click in. Uh, I'm going to click OK. I did this, and now we should receive the uh, request data here. Yeah, we have the person last name as Fox and the person's first uh, sorry and the person first name as Henry. I'm going to click on continue. And then I'm going to create a new step um, to integrate this with um, Google Sheets. So I'm going to search here uh, for Google Sheets. I'm going to select this. I'm going to uh, create a spreadsheet row as the action to be executed every time that we receive a new uh, request on our webhook. I'm going to press on save and continue. Now I'm going to connect to my uh, Gmail account in order to be able to access the spreadsheet. I'm going to test it just to check that everything works fine. We are good. I'm going to press on save plus continue. And now I'm going to select the uh, spreadsheet. I'm going to uh, refresh here. Refresh. Uh, why is not my Google Drive maybe? Oh, yeah, my Google Drive and here I'm going to be able to select the Sapier webhooks. That is actually this one over here. So I'm going to select the worksheet that is uh, going to be the sheet one. So it's going to be uh, this one, the first one. And I'm going to map the fields that I received from the webhook to the columns of this 
a, a spreadsheet. So for the first name column, I'm going to um, associate the person first name. And for the last name column, I'm going to select the person last name. I'm going to click on continue here. And I'm going to test this step just to validate that the information that I, I already sent from the webhook um, is now on Google Sheets. So let's double check that this is still empty. So now I'm going to click on send this to Google Sheets. And we should be able to see the new values here. Yeah, very good. Okay. Now I'm going to press on finish and I'm going to activate this app. I'm going to assign, assign a name first and let's call it webhook to Google Sheets. And I'm going to turn on this SAP. So let's go back to Postman and I'm going to create a couple of requests here. Uh, I'm going to add here Sean, Sean Doe. And I'm going to add another one, um, Cave. Paris. Okay, and now I am going to check on the spreadsheet and as we planned, uh, we have the new values that we send on the webhook here. So let's review what we've done on this uh, SAP. We have the triggered action, that is this catch hook and that is basically this uh, URL that Sapier provided us. And we are sending requests to that URL. And then we are storing this information, this uh, JSON payloads that we receive on this webhook in this Google uh, uh, sheet. And here is where we associate the attributes from the payload that we receive on the webhook with the columns of the spreadsheet. So that's pretty much it. Thank you. Uh, remember to like and subscribe and I see you on the next video. Bye.